the definition of mitosis for you. Mitosis is cell division leading to the growth and development. Meiosis. Meiosis is a cell division leading to production of gametes. Something must be striking you. When we are using the word gametes, it must be the reproductive cell. When we are talking about growth, it must be the body cell. So somewhere in your mind, you must have tried recalling these words and also taking an account of what must be the meaning of it. So when we talk about the word mitosis and when we talk about the word meiosis, mitosis will be more related with the growth and development and meiosis will be more related with the production of gametes. With this, let us take into account the first topic, understanding what is mitosis. When we are using the word mitosis and studying details of mitosis, let us go into details of each and every part of mitosis and see what are the very interesting aspects of mitosis. Mitosis is a cell division in which two identical daughter cells are produced by division of parent cells. I repeat for you a very important line. Mitosis is a cell division in which two identical daughter cells are produced by division of parent cells. These daughter cells will have the same number of chromosomes as that of the parents. It means that if the parents have got 2n number of chromosomes which are there, same number of chromosomes will be seen in the daughter cells which will be 2n. So it is not half but same number of chromosomes. When we are talking about this process of mitosis, we have to say that before the division of cell is taking place, the cell prepares for this big change. For the preparation of this big change, the change would be with reference to the doubling of DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid. So, it is not only the doubling that is taking place of DNA that is there, but this whole process that is taking place has got a specific name. The specific name that we are giving is, it is called as interface. So, what happens? During the process of interface, the cell prepares itself for undergoing a process of mitosis. On the monitor, you can see how the cell prepares itself for undergoing this process of mitosis. We also have to say that this process that we talk about for interface, though it is not visible for a naked eye, but later on we can see the chromosomes which are there that are formed. So what is it mainly concerned with? It is mainly concerned with the synthesis of DNA. So we highlight on a very important aspect in cell division which is called as interface. Mitosis. Mitosis is a process which comprises of four phases. What are these four phases? On the monitor, you can see the four phases. They are first, prophase, second, metaphase, third, anaphase, and fourth one, telophase. When we talk about these four phases that are there, please don't forget that before this, is interphase. When we are talking about these phases which are there of prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase, these four phases are similar in case of plants and in case of animals. To study more in details, right now let us take into account the process of mitosis that is taking place in animal cells. We will also show you on the monitor later on the same mitosis in case of plants. In case of the first phase that we highlight on, 
name prophase meaning of the word prophase is pro is first so this is the first step that takes place in mitosis let us see what changes occur in case of mitosis on the monitor the details of prophase for you in case of prophase the chromosomes have become distinct as they have become short and thick and are visible in the nucleus so you can clearly see that these chromosomes which were not visible previously in interface are now distinctly seen in the nucleus you can also see that each nucleus has already duplicated that is having made its own copy to form two chromatids so when the chromosome duplicate it forms two chromatids you can also see the two chromatids they remain attached to each other at a small region what is the name of this region look at the monitor and the part it is called as centromere so we are looking at the monitor for more details with what happens in prophase so let's go to the next step to understand what happens after the chromosomes have become distinct what has happened to the chromosomes after they have undergone a process of duplication as you can see in the next step the centrosomes that is the part which contains the centriole splits into two and what happens after that the two daughter centrioles they now move apart and each centriole which is a daughter centriole it will occupy the opposite poles of the cell so this forms a very important step when we talk about mitosis what happens after that each centriole will be showing or it will be surrounded by radiating rays what are these radiating rays called as they are called as asters in case of animals you can see that sometimes there are either one or two centrioles that are present the dividing animal cell shown on the monitor has two centrioles each of which splits into two early in the early phases that we can see why i am using the word early or why i am using the word late actually it is one phase which is there but if we talk about continuously about this part you will get confused so to make things very simple for you rather than making it complicated we at our end are showing you the early phase and the late phase so it becomes very distinct for you to understand what exactly happens in prophase got it so this is what we are highlighting with the change that is taking place as far as the centriole is concerned it has divided it has moved towards opposite ends and now there are radiating rays that are there called as asters very important don't forget this word further the number of fibers which appears between the two daughter centrioles are called as spindle fibers as you can see on the monitor the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus are disappearing the chromosomes move towards the equator now what happens at this stage at this stage you can see on the monitor the prophase which is shown to you as early prophase and late prophase first part you can see the spindle fibers and you can also see the entire centrioles which can be so distinctly seen so this is a phase under the heading of early prophase and late prophase let's take into account the second phase which is metaphase meaning of the word meta is after let us see what happens in this phase on the monitor you can see that the chromosomes are now arranged on the equatorial plane this chromosomes which are there they get attached to the spindle fiber the attachment of the chromosomes to the spindle fiber is with the help of centromere this is the position of the chromosomes which can be so distinctly seen 
in the equatorial region. What is the next step that takes place after metaphase? The phase that you can see is 